Hey guys, it's Eudi here with a small technical guide for Diablo 3. In this video I'll be showing you an easy way to get more out of your GPU in order to make Diablo 3 look better. Uh, this however is only possible on Nvidia cards, so if you're using AMD I'm sorry but this won't help you much. Uh, the features that you can add are basically SSAO and better anti-aliasing. Uh, Diablo 3 isn't a very demanding game when it comes to GPUs, sort of like all the other Blizzard games. You can easily tell this by having a proper GPU monitoring software running in the background or even via OSD. Uh, to give you an example, D3 keeps my GPU usage at around 15% uh, to provide me with 60 FPS. Uh, this is on a GTX 780, without the options I'm going to present to you in this video. First of all, a good idea would be to download the GPU monitoring software to keep an eye on your GPU usage, temperatures, memory usage, etc. This will be useful not just for Diablo 3, but almost every other game out there. Most of you are probably already using this, but just in case I'll mention two of the ones I consider the best. Those will be Precision X from EVGA and MSI Afterburner. Both will provide you with graphs for almost everything you'd want to track while you're gaming. Uh, temperatures, GPU usage, voltage modifications, memory usage, FPS and many other things. You can also enable OSD which stands for on-screen display so you can see all these values in-game in either corner of your screen depending on your settings. As you can see by pressing the monitoring button you can select which graphs you would like to be displayed right here. Uh, I don't however have OSD currently enabled so you won't be seeing that here. Uh, by double clicking the graphs, I'll just have to drag this here in just a second. Um, so yeah, now you can see uh, it'll open up all the values for the whole duration since you were since you turn on the program to where you're going to close it down. This will provide you with an accurate evolution of your temperatures and whatnot while you are gaming. Uh, I'm only mentioning this because the two options I'm going to show you are quite demanding for some older cards and not that much for newer ones. When I say demanding though, I don't really mean demanding to the level of for example Battlefield 4, but some of you might not be gaming on a lot of demanding games, so the temps might be higher than what you're used to. Let's start talking about the visual tweaks you can make for a 2D3. First we have SSAO. Just right click on your desktop and go to NVIDIA Control Panel. Like that. Just a second, I'm going to close this down. Uh, then go to 3D manage, manage 3D Settings. Click Program Settings right here and if you don't already have the game Diablo 3 added here you can just click the add button um, now you can go to browse and you'll just have to find your uh, Diablo 3 executable in your computer um, this usually depending on where you install it it could be in program files or in my case it'll be in games so yeah, you just go to your Diablo 3 folder and you click the Diablo 3 executable. I already have it here, so I'm just going to click can cancel. Okay, and now that you've added it, there's a few options you'll be looking at. First is ambient occlusion. For those who don't know, this will add quite a bit of shadowing around 3D objects, making the environments feel more realistic. It does have its upsides and downsides though, beyond the performance hit, which in my case it's not really noticeable. As you can see, I'm keeping it on performance. Quality works just as fine, still managing 60 FPS. However, I like to have my GPU fan running quiet for D3, not so much for Battlefield 4. So I keep it on performance instead. Now, the upsides. Some environments will look really amazing, like interiors and even some exterior portions of the game. You'll most likely not want to go back to playing the game without AO after enabling it. The downsides. Diablo 3 contains quite a few 2.5D objects, as the developers put it, uh, in its scenes, so it's, uh, this being f a forced AO on top of the game, it will have a few instances where it will not look right. Uh, like for example, some map tiles around say a waypoint, you'll be able to see an edge around it being shadowed simply because the AO tries to shadow every 3D object on the screen. For some reason, I'm guessing the edge isn't perfectly fit into the other tiles, uh, the shadows will appear. Uh, wherever, Also, wherever there might be heavy fog, the extra shadows provided by AO will appear too dark in some cases uh, due to the fact that they're applied on top of the scene instead of being added before the fog is rendered. Uh, if those two instances, however, don't bother you, they're quite rare actually, at least in my opinion, the rest of the scenery will look way more immersive. On to the anti-aliasing then, D3 uh, uses a form of F FXAA, which means, as most of you know, um, 
a form of anti-aliasing that blurs the whole screen instead of just the edges of the object. So what you want to do is disable the in-game AA, go to your uh, NVIDIA control panel, click on AA mode right here, and select override any application setting. Uh, I currently have it put on 8x uh, CSAA and anti-aliasing transparency to 2x super sample. Keep in mind I'm using these settings on a GTX 780, so depending on your GPU, you might want to scale those settings down until you get acceptable performance for yourselves. Uh, just press the apply button down there, uh, I don't currently have it because I didn't change anything. Um, and yeah, start up your D3. Uh, don't forget to monitor your GPU, GPU usage if it gets to 99%, pretty much means your card is maxed out and you're seeing, uh, only if you're seeing FPS under 60 you should tone down the uh, anti-aliasing until it gets to what you want it to be. Uh, and also you should monitor the temps just in case, uh, this is for all the cards of course. Well, that's about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe if this was helpful to you in any way, and uh, see you next time.